Hello everybody, welcome to Ocala Garage. Sorry, I had <laughs> the spider web in my face here. Uh, so welcome to Ocala Garage. Today I have a special treat. It's going to be a quick video. Over the weekend, hopefully you guys can still see me now that I'm in the shade. Uh, this past weekend I went to a local Cars and Coffee event and met up with a guy. He stopped in. He didn't even have a cool car with him. He just stopped in with his everyday car and was uh, excited to see the Datsun and started talking to me and apparently he has he owns three scarabs and has five of them in his garage at home now for those of you who don't know what a scarab is uh, if you're in the Datsun world back in the mid 70s 1975 to I think early 81 there was a company that was trying to be like Shelby is for the Mustangs and they were what they would do is they would take the Datsuns and put in essentially a Chevy, like a Corvette V8. Uh, they would do a bunch of suspension and brake upgrades and some interior modifications. And there were, uh, you could bring your car to the factory and they would do the conversions for you and there would be a factory scarab. Or you could buy the kit and they would send you everything, the engine, suspension, all that stuff, and you could do the conversion yourself. And they had a bunch of different options. They had fender flares and fins and different options you could choose from. Uh, as best as they can tell, there were only somewhere around 40 factory scarabs produced. And this guy that I was talking to has owns two factory ones, one kit, and he had two other factory ones in his garage. So this guy essentially has 10% of the scarabs factory scarabs ever built in his garage uh, and he invited me over to take a look at him which was really cool I didn't take any video there I have a couple pictures which I'll uh, you know put in this video somewhere uh, and one of them is I'm sure I'm gonna make that the thumbnail it's a little clickbait for you guys but the other cool thing uh, is he wanted to see if I wanted to buy some wheels from him so I've got some new wheels for my little ugly duckling car here uh, but it's uh, one of the first steps in making her a little prettier the cool thing a couple of cool things about the uh, the scarab guy is he has the very first scarab ever built at the factory it's a gold um, not sure if it was a 240 I think it was a 240 but anyway uh, it's the only gold scarab and it was the number one scarab uh, so if you actually do a search on the internet right now for Dotson scarab you find one that's gold uh, that's the one this guy has in his garage uh, if you take a closer look at it these are the wheels that are on that scarab those weren't true original scarab wheels so he took these off and the guy he bought it from had the original uh, magnesium wheels that he put on there. So I have this nice set of Koenigs with some new rubber on them to put on my car that were once dancing around the bottom of the number one Scarab ever produced. So I think that's kind of cool. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, take some video of the Scarabs down the road and we'll get some more info from that guy. Uh, but uh, like I said, I just met him, so I didn't want to, you know, jump at him with a video camera and make some demands. Uh, but I am going to go over to his place, and we're going to get a new windshield installed. Because this one, has got this big old crack from here up to here. And uh, he's got a windshield that he pulled out of one of the scarabs in his that he had uh, uh, restored. And since he was doing it, doing the car to be... Um, evaluated or, or pointed or whatever they call it uh, he had to have a perfect windshield so he's got a, a, a good windshield use one that I'm gonna buy from him and he's gonna help me install it uh, probably this weekend not sure if that'll be on video again I just met the guy so I don't want to throw the video camera at him but very exciting I'm excited about it it was a really cool Datsun weekend for me uh, and I just wanted to share that with you guys so thanks for uh, being patient and tuning in and I will catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.